exactly what is wrong with me wanting to preserve my race, my people, and my heritage. No, nothing wrong with that. The problem is, you don't know what a race is. It's been a minute since I've done a serious talk like this, so good morning to all my heavily melanated majesties, my lighter complected lords and ladies, and my marshmallow monarchs. Good morning to you. The problem here is, we keep thinking of race like skin color, and race is not a skin color. There is only one race of human beings. That race is known as Homo sapiens sapiens. A race is a species. We are all the exact same species. What my brother here is trying to preserve is culture, ethnicity, nationality. But cultures, ethnicities, and nationalities are not some forever standing monuments. That's not how life works. Cultures evolve. They're designed to as they're met with migrations of people. We bring in new technologies. We bring in new ideas, new sciences, new language, new art, new music, the alike. So for example, a white man living in America could not preserve European culture. He would have brought pieces of European culture to this new amalgamation of culture in the Americas. But he doesn't speak the language the way they spoke it. He doesn't eat the foods the way they prepared them. The culture is different. And with the advent of the Internet, you're watching cultures clash and combine more rapidly than ever in human history. It is virtually impossible to preserve a culture in this day. But you should do your absolute best to preserve the race, the human race. You should do everything in your power to preserve this embodiment of humanity. And that includes all cultures, all nationalities, all ethnicities, all skin tones, all orientations, all ways of thinking and the alike. Well, ways of thinking that aren't toxic to the whole culture. Anyway, I know y'all probably going to eat me up about that, but that's just my little take on that. I'm out the way.